Let's follow some steps to turn on the drone and calibrate it as you usually would do with other cheap drones. It's very similar. For example, the first rule would be usually to turn on the drone first. Then you turn on the remote control. When you see that the LEDs are blinking, it means that the remote control has not established any connection with the drone yet. And usually you would establish it by moving this stick up and down. And then when you see that the LEDs stop blinking, it means that remote control has synchronized with the drone. Next rule usually is to calibrate the drone when it's on the ground, on the plane surface. Both sticks at the same time should be moved in diagonal this way. You see the beeping sound and the LEDs blinking, which means that we have calibrated the drone, or it's sometimes called factory reset. If you have purchased the drone, you have never flied it before, do this. And before any use of the drone, the first thing you should do is calibrate it on the ground. The surface should be plain. If the surface is not plain, if you try to calibrate it with such an angle, it will be drifting a lot and even may not take off. There is inside a mechanism called gyroscope, which memorizes the position of the drone and thinks that this position is the right position and it will keep the drone in this position in the air. So if you put it under the angle, it will try to fly this way and it will drift or even will not take off. So the next step is to take off. You have two options, take off manually or take off automatically. If you are a beginner, I suggest to take off manually. Take off automatically would mean that you will have to push the takeoff button and it may fly quickly up and you may not have enough time to control it and it may start drifting and bumping around, hitting some obstacles around. We don't know if the calibration of the drone is correct. So I would do the manual takeoff, meaning that I will turn on the motors first by moving the stick up and then by moving the stick up again will fly up. And to land, you would use this stick again to land and keep it pressed until it shuts down the motors. When the drone is in the air, you can still calibrate it as well using these buttons. If it's drifting a lot, you would do that. But this drone has optical flow positioning, which means that it has this kind of sensor here and it analyzes some kind of small images, pixels, when the drone is moving and it doesn't let the drone drift too much. I've already tried this drone, I can say that it's not drifting too much, but let me show you how you still can calibrate it manually in the air. But this calibration is not perfect, because of the airflow these drones will always drift a little bit. If you want perfect calibration you need to have GPS in the drone. GPS positioning will keep the drone in the perfect position, will not let it drift. So now let me fly up and see if it's drifting too much or not. If I'm flying too close to the wall, it will drift because there's air hitting the wall, so it will drift. But as you can see, it's pretty stable in the air right now. But if it wouldn't, you would use these buttons to move the drone a little bit to the opposite direction to where it's moving. A little bit to the right if it drifts to the left, a little bit to the left if it drifts to the right. That, that's how it would work. But as you can see, the optical flow is working fine now. And many of the cheap drones now have it. So you don't really need this functionality anymore. And finally, uh, let's try the obstacle avoidance. You can hear that now my remote control is beeping already. It means that the battery is running low. I will take off and turn on the obstacle avoidance. I'm turning on the obstacle avoidance right now by pushing this button. And you see it is detecting the wall now.
on the back, no sensors. It doesn't go away from me. But on other three sides, it works. 